Okay, so today we're going to be replacing all the water dishes. Well, not the water dishes, I mean the water in the water dishes for all the tarantulas. And we're going to get a view of all of them, hopefully. Because usually for feeding videos, some of them don't eat, so I don't film them. So today, we're going to go through every tarantula, well, the adults and juveniles that I have. In other words, here's sort of a tour of tarantulas that I have. So we're going to start from this row and then we'll move on to that row. So in this one is my cobalt blue. As you can see, she's over there and she's making use of that pipe. There she is. So now I'm going to replace her water. Under my cobalt blue is my Haplopalma minex. So this girl is a little bit on the crazy side with a little movement. As you can see, she comes well, now today she is considered quite laid back, but usually she'll just run towards this and tag it. Oh, there, I spoke too soon. Okay, give me the water dish, please. Thank you. Okay, okay, calm down. Jeez, what? Come on. Really scary, my god. It's just water. These old wolves are pretty scary guys. So next up is my Kilobrachis King Krachan, the Dark Earth Tiger. This is not good because she's on the water dish. You gonna give it to me? Please? Oh, thank you. So evil. Y'all old worlds need to calm down. This one's also a little bit crazy. This is the Kilobrachis Andersoni, the Burmese Mustard. Oh my, okay, jeez, give me the water dish. Everyone's in such a bad mood today. You won't be able to see my Ornithoctonus aurativialis, Thailand Golden Fringe, because it's always in the burrow, so yeah. Ceratogyrus darlingi, rare horned baboon. Now, I was so confident that this Nandochromatus would be a female, but that day it molted and you see the hooks. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find a female for him. But anyways, water dish. Here's the Sericopelma rubronitans, the Panama red rump. Oh, by the way, I'm just gonna be filming the tarantulas in this room. The Avix are in my other room, and I've already replaced their waters yesterday. King Baboon, Palinobius Muticus, pretty much just a container of dirt. Because she is always down there. Well, at, at midnight, around 1am, 2am, she's out, but when I touch the enclosure, down she goes. In a way, it's a good thing, because I can easily replace the water. This one's the Kilobrachis Huahini, the Asian fawn. Not sure if you can see her, but... But yeah, I think you can see her legs. Whoa, freaking mold. Wow, just perfect. How did I not notice this? Hmm, guess it's too damp over there. Gonna scoop out all the mold and replace it with dry substrate and see how that goes. Cause the mold was just at this spot. So I'm not gonna replace everything just yet. Just fill it with some dry substrate and see if the mold comes back. I've already replaced the water dish for my Aphobopus marinus, the skeleton tarantula. But look, she has made a tunnel. It goes deep, deep in there. Pretty cool. And the good thing is, she opened a window at the side of the enclosure, so I can see her. That's awesome. My M. Balfouri is in there. Can't really see her. But yeah, water dish change. Ah, oh, not enough. My H. maculata only comes out at night, so I'm sorry you cannot see her now. She's in the hole though. Oh god, have mercy. This is my OBTN, you see? She's already ready to strike. Hopefully, she doesn't come running. Uh, yes, oh, oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. This is bad. How am I gonna put back the water dish? Oh, like I said, Lord have mercy. Okay, goodbye. 
You stay there. That's right, stay there. Now you can come get a drink. Tapinikinis gigas? This one always messes up the water dish. The previous OBT you saw, 4 inches. This one, 5.5 inches. Okay. Mm hmm. There we go. Good. You stay there. Don't come running. Good girl. Alright, all the crazy ones are done. Gremastola Eringi, the entry reels. I don't want to fill up the water dish for my Afono Pelma Simani because she always messes it up and throws substrate in. And she tips it over and making the substrate all wet. And I don't want mold. Okay, that's enough ants. I don't want mold to start growing. So she can drink from the substrate if she wants. Gremastola Pulcra, Brazilian Black. My grandma stole a pottery is a demon for a rose hair. But today she's in a good mood. Yeah, so she came after me. Yeah, yeah, as you can see. As I said, she's a demon. It's just water. Why won't you learn to calm down? Seriously. My Holothelli Sanguinceps doesn't have a water dish, but I will just wet down the substrate. And just so you guys can see her. Because she's usually not in feeding videos. My Grandma Stola Rosea. Go in. Here's my Ternopelma Sazimai, the Brazilian blue. Very, very gorgeous. But unfortunately, it's a male. Always dirting its water dish. Right down there, you can see my Syria Cosmos Elegance. For this one, it's just so small, so I'm just gonna wetten down the substrate. Summer Post Polker, where is she? Down there. This is the Panama Blonde. No water dish as well, so she'll drink from that. Serata Jars Meridionalis, nowhere to be found, so Kilobrachis Fimbriatus down there. You can see a tiny leg at the corner there, if my phone would focus. By the way, this is the Sarata Jaris Marshali. Oh, there it is, the Great Horned Baboon. Thanks for coming out, little dude. You see the legs? Yeah, this is the Neo Holotheli Insei Gold. This one has a water dish, so I'll just fill it up with this spray. Let's see if we can see it come out. Oh, there it is. Whee! You can focus. It's the Neo Holotheli Insane, the normal one, not the gold one. But yeah, let's do what we came here to do. We're gonna have to see this before we touch the enclosure. This is the Ternochilus Lugardi, the Fort Hall Baboon, because as soon as I touch the enclosure, oh, I'm surprised. Usually when I touch it, she goes into the burrow straight away. As I was saying. Here's the Nandu Carapoensis, the Brazilian Red. So fat, I swear, even after this one molds, the abdomen's still gonna be fat as hell. Oh, my pumpkin patch is out, but I think when I open it, it's gonna go in. There she is. Oh, she went in. No. Oh, someone's peeking over there. Look at the webbing for the Selena Cosmia Javanensis, guys. Remember the progress video? And now this is what she has done. Amazing. Davis Pantalores, the Guatemalan Tiger Rump. Acanthoscoria geniculata. Perfect. Just perfect. She has to be on the water dish. Come on. You're gonna have to move. Okay. Nope. I'm not gonna change this one to water now. Screw that, man. Ternochilus cordatus, the Kilimanjaro mustard baboon, and what the hell? Really? Why do they like to do this to their water dish? I'm just gonna fill it up. I don't care. Same with this LP. Are you serious? What is this? Here, take a substrate back. This one's a cobalt blue. 
Choco Goldeny, the Gremistola Poker Piece. Whoa, don't bite me. By the way, those are not mites. Well, not parasitic mites. They help decompose stuff, so they're no harm to the teeth, don't worry. Another Choco. Same story with this one's water dish. Substrate everywhere. And here's my third and last Choco Goldeny. So before I touch this enclosure, I'm going to show you my Hastrocratis Gigas, the Cameroon Red Baboon, because as soon as I touch the enclosure, gone. I don't give these guys war dishes because they like it moist, so they'll drink from the substrate itself. Here's the other Hastrocratis Gigas, ready to see it vanish. Oh, it's out, yeah. Um, they're going to need a rehouse very soon, so do expect a video of that soon. This one did have a water dish, but look at what it did. Oh, it molted. So wait, now I can determine it's, oh, it's destroyed. Oh, well. Acanthoscora chaquana, the Bolivian pink. Bahia scarlet. Nandu Tripepi, the Brazilian giant blonde. Hey, super skittish. Oh, this Janiculata is near its water dish too. You wanna give me? Will you give it to me? Please, thank you. Well, this one's more behaved than the previous one. Avicularia Tarapoto. I'll just put the water dish here. Oh wait, I have another Choco Goldeny. I'm probably gonna sell, I'm probably gonna sell this one off. This one's my Caribana Versicolor. Definitely need a rehouse soon. Kilobrachis Wahini, this one I'm just gonna refill up the water dish. She's over there. This one's my Cochiana Bruna piece, the dwarf pink leg. This is the Avicularia species Ecuador. There, she's down there. And as you can see, she covered up a water dish. So I'm gonna use a scissors to snip off some of the webbing. And that is quite nasty. Whatever the hell this is. Ugh. Let's just fill it up. Now my Tapinikini is Cuprius. She's in this spaghetti sauce jar. There she is. Okay. Now for her, I'm just gonna mist it a little bit. So that is it guys. I've showed you the teas that I have in this room, but there are some slings over here that I don't plan to film because I already think this video is long enough. There's like two, four, six, seven, seven plus two, four, six, eight. There's 15 slings in here. So yeah, it's gonna take another no idea how long. So that'll be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. One million views. Are you serious guys? Pouring water into tarantulas water dishes got one million views? That's unbelievable. That's awesome. So since that video got a million views and a lot of you asked for another one, here is watering my tarantulas part two. Okay, so before we start this video, I just want to mention that I have created a Patreon page. So if you guys feel like you want to support this channel even more and want to be a Patreon, just click the link that is over here and it will direct you straight to the Patreon page. It's just an additional option there if you guys feel like you want to support that way. But just watching my videos is, I'm really thankful for it. So thank you. But yeah, without further ado, let's start what you guys came here for. So first off, we're gonna have to fill up this bottle. Okay, so first one we're gonna do is my Arizona Blonde. By the way, I did a video on me rehousing this girl into this enclosure, but I'll upload that in a few days time. There she is. So now let's fill up her water bowl. So I'm gonna take the dirty water dish and dump it into this container so I can wash it later. And then in this cabinet, I have like a whole stack of brand new deli cups. This is gonna make work so much quicker. And since you guys love the sound of water so much, 
<laughs> there you guys go. We are now moving to the star of last watering video. This is the Hapopalma Minex, the Thailand Black. And as you can see, she's already guarding her water dish, so let's see how she reacts today. So she decided to spread out her legs, and now I'm scared. <laughs> oh my goodness. I didn't even do anything. I was just talking and look at her. Seriously. Oh my goodness, she's still crazy as ever. Imagine if I take a water dish, what she's gonna do. <laughs> Why? Why do you want to kill me so much? Come on. You seriously hate me that much? Oh my goodness. Dude. <laughs> you never changed from first video, huh? Still the same old, same old spider. Now let go. Thank you. Oh my... Ugh. Why do you do this to me? I'm just doing something that benefits you. Come on. Here's a clean water bowl. Don't kill me. Are you serious? Come on. Calm down. I'm not gonna go near for you guys to hear the water because look at her attitude. Oh, seriously, girl. You need some anger management classes. This is the face of evil. Look at those eyes, staring right into my soul. Oh, I swear. Every time I open this girl's enclosure to clean her water, my heart beats like 170 beats per minute. Kilo Brachis Kane Krichan, the Dark Earth Tiger. Okay, you better behave. Okay, good. Look how fat this girl is. Okay, here goes. Oh, okay. Another one that makes my heart beat 170 beats per minute. The Kilobrachis andersoni, the Burmese mustard. Oh look, my skeleton's out. Behave. Behave. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on girl. Behave. I just, ah. Oh. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I can't say anything now. This is just part of the fun. For, oh, oh. <laughs> part of the fun of keeping these guys. Oh, come on! Are you serious? Let go. Leave it at the corner. Why are you always so pissed off? It's just water. Come on. Appreciate it. I'll have to enroll you and the Haplopelma Minex for anger management classes. Ornithoctonus aureotibialis, Thailand Golden Fringe. Can't see her, just like last video, because she is inside this burrow. So not sure if you can see her, but there's her legs, there's her body. My gorgeous Ceratogyrus darlingi, the rare horned baboon. At least you're in a good mood, are you? Yep. King baboons, the most fun species to keep. You can't see anything, no burrow entrances, nothing. But if you look under, Hey, what's going on? Like, what's up with my vinegroom? It decided to like dig a hole inside. Hmm. Oh, last video you didn't see my H. Maculata, but this video, there she is. This is Sericopelma rubroni tense, the Panama red rump. Yep, at least this one didn't fight back. You back off, that's right. I'm so glad that I added this pipe for my cobalt blue because if not, she won't be down there. She'll be out and about and I will have difficulties changing the water dish as well. This one's going to be a little bit scary as well. This is the Kilobrachis wahini, the Asian fawn. Okay, deep breath. Wish me luck, guys. Uh, <laughs> no, please, please, I beg of you. Don't kill me. Now this is why keeping, oh my goodness. Every time I want to say keeping old worlds are fun, they just try to kill me. But yeah, it's quite fun. Look at that face. <laughs> why is my skeleton always hiding? Come on, we want to see you. <sighs> oh well. 
happy tarantula is a hiding tarantula. Oosh, check on my M. Belfori. Gorgeous. Hopefully his attitude will be gorgeous as well. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness, I almost dropped this thing. Tapinakinis Gigas, the orange chevron. Let's see if she'll show herself. Oh my god, nope, okay. <laughs> yep, big mistake. Okay, this one. Remember guys, Lord have mercy. Yep, it's time for Lord to have mercy on me. Whew, I am nervous. Look at her, she's just staring and just patiently waiting to want to eat me. Okay, time to bite the bullet and go in. Oh no, okay. Come on girl, please. Don't do this. Don't do this. Oh, why? You guys, seriously. Look at her. Just mocking me over there. Lord, you're supposed to have mercy on me. Come on. <sighs> okay, I'm glad that one's over. Okay, I touched the enclosure and my H. maculata ran in, like I said earlier. But it's okay, at least you guys saw her. The good thing is my 5.5 inch OBT, I paired her with my friend's male. So she has sealed herself in there. Hopefully there's an egg sac. But yeah, I'm able to do the water dish. <laughs> All right, just like that day, crazy row, done. Okay, this is the Grandma Stola Airingi, the entry rios. This one should be okay. Good. Okay. Um, um, okay. I just said that you'll be okay and you pounced on me. Come on. Afonopelma Simani, Costa Rican Zebra. Thanks for behaving, I really appreciate it. Here's my Grandma Stola Pulcra, the Brazilian Black. Oh shoot, my Grandma Stola Pottery is in molt. Awesome. No wonder she didn't want to eat. It's okay, this is good. Now she can have fresh water after she molts. Check out the white fangs. Pretty cool. And that is why you don't feed your tarantulas right after a molt because their fangs are like really soft. It's supposed to be black, but their fangs are like transparent now. Here's my smaller Grandma Stola Pottery. And my Terranopelma sesimi, the Brazilian blue. No, give me the water dish. Come on, thank you. What are you doing? Get in. No. No. Get in. There you go. Here's my Acanthoscuria geniculata, the Brazilian white knee. Very calm today. I'm surprised. I spoke too soon. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, my Pilugardi is out, guys. Finally. She's usually in the burrow. Oh, come on, phone. Really? Really at this time? And then as soon as I touch the enclosure, she's gonna go in. Um. Oh, thankfully not. There she is. Sweet. Look at that beauty. Finally, I see her out. Now, this is a must-have species. Well, since she's out, I hope she'll let me take a water dish. Yeah. These guys are not so aggressive. They're more shy. So as you can see, yeah, just tapped her on the butt and she went in. Ooh, my pumpkin patch is out as well. Awesome. Showing her butt at me. Wow. Oh, I guess she heard me. <laughs> Another crazy species. This is the Selena Cosmia javanensis, the javan yellow knee. But looks like this one's more shy. Nando Carapuensis, the Brazilian Red. Davis Pantalores, the Guatemalan Tiger Rump. Neoholotheli Inse, Trinidad Olive. I did an unboxing of this girl, but I haven't uploaded it yet, probably in a few days, but this is the Gramastola Rosea, red color form. 
I know you guys like Cobalt Blues. Well, the other one was in the pipe, but this one is out now. So there you go. Wash your eyes. There's some beauty right there. I'm not going to take out this bottle cap too clean. Just going to pour the water in because it's stuck to the web. So yeah, don't want to destroy the web because that's going to make her pissed off. You don't want to make a cobalt blue pissed off. Well, since it's pretty rare to see these guys out, let's just give her a feed since she's already out. Whoa, 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 whoa. What a gentle attack. Wow. Oh, okay. Calm down. Just taking a video. In here is a Philippine tangerine, but you can't see her, so... Just fill out a water dish. Chaco Goldeny. Grandma stole our polka piece. And another one. Look at what this clown did to its water dish. Yeah. You've come to show me what you did to your water dish, huh? Brilliant. Now, what do you, what do you want me to do with it, huh? See? What? There's a super worm pupa in here. <laughs> what? Go in there. No, you're not going to do that again. Just drink from it. Don't tip it over, come on. Let's feed this pupa to my Bomi. Look at her, she wants it. There we go. So this is an Acanthoscoria chakwana, the Bolivian pink. Quite a nice looking tea. Nandu tripepi, the Brazilian giant blonde. This is my Lassiodora klugi, the Bahia scarlet. Let's give her a worm. There we go. Good girl. That's your reward for behaving. Here's another Cantuscuria geniculata. Hey, go drink your water. Oh yeah, you guys were asking for an update of my Huntsman Spider and when I'm gonna rehouse her. Well, as you can see, she is well overdue for a rehouse, but I keep procrastinating because, yeah, it's creepy, man. Not looking forward for the rehouse. Pakistopelma bromelicola. Okay, so now we have two Histocrates gigas, the Cameroon red baboon. These guys are pretty skittish, as you can see. The other one's like under her burrow, so yep, good thing she's not out, otherwise I'll have, I may have problems. Because these guys can be pretty defensive if they want to. And they get about 8 inches in leg span, which is huge for a baboon. So guys, that'll be it for watering my tarantulas part 2. If you liked it, thumbs it up. I have already enabled the user ratings for the video, so you can now thumbs up and thumbs down. If you are new to this channel and you like what you just saw, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you'll know when I post again in the future. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Welcome to the video you've all been waiting for. This is Watering My Tarantulas Part 3. And that was just for the intro. Now let's get to the real watering. Okay, so let's start off this video with the main star of the two previous watering videos. And that of course is going to be this girl over here. That's right, it's my Saripagoba slash Hapopelma Minex, the Thailand Black. So as you can see, there is not much webbing done compared to the other two videos. It is because I just added more substrate for her. So in a couple days, it should be all webbed up. And look at that, she already moved towards a water dish. Perfect. But I've got a feeling that she's going to be pretty well behaved today. Um, okay. Why? Why? This is the third video and you still not learned how to calm down? Are you serious, girl? Just let me grab your water dish for once, will you? Please? Thank you? Really? You gotta tap it now? Wow. I'm telling you guys, this girl is just insane. You see, I added more substrate for you. So you can get a softer ground and this is how you thank me. Stop it. Are you, come on. Leave the water dish alone. 
there. Drink your water. Oh my goodness. You're gonna get your legs squished when I put on the cover, so move it down. Are, you know, the only good part of you being like this is that everyone on this channel loves you. Are you happy about that? Glad that's out of the way. Now we have my little bracket Swahini, but the colorations, I don't know guys, comment down below. Let's just do what we came here to do. Behave okay, please? Thank you. Beautiful though. Kilo Brachis Andersoni, Burmese Mustard. This one's also well known for her attitude, as you can see, but this one isn't as bad as Miss Thailand Black. But hey, gotta love your old worlds, huh? Monocentropus Balfouri, which is like in there. So this one, I don't need tongs. I mean, who needs tongs? Tongs are for the weak. A phone of Helma Simani, Costa Rican Zebra. Whoa. Okay. Behave yourself. I don't have to worry about this girl. Gramostola Rosea. Chilling rose hair. Girl, what are you doing? You can't be sticking on walls like that. Better let me take your water dish. No, 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 don't come out. You're hungry, aren't you? Here you go. Here, here, here's your cricket. I know you're hungry. Are you not hungry? Yeah, you are. I know that you are. So that's the Jarvis Darlingy, the rear horn, the boon. Thanks for behaving. I'm sure you guys know who this is. Mrs. Lord Have Mercy from Oh God No Land. Oh God No. Have mercy on me. Don't you dare. Already turning around to kill me. Let me take your water dish. Are you serious? Why don't you guys just let me take your water dish so I can clean your water? Go away. And why you guys gotta web up your water dish? You see what's happening to your web? What are you doing? What is your problem? You want a cricket or something? These guys. Never calm down. Moving on. Sericopelma rubroni tense. This is the Panama Red Rum. Here's the one that's always fat, even if she doesn't eat. This is my Nando Carapoensis, the Brazilian Red. And she continues to eat, even when she's fat. Welcome to the lair of Lord Have Mercy number two. I think I'll give this one a cricket first to keep her occupied. Oh. On earth. As I was saying, I'm gonna give her a cricket to keep her occupied so she'll leave me alone. Please leave me alone. I swear, these old worlds just make your heart go. Yeah, you know it too, huh? You better stay there and let me fill your water. Crazy. This one's pretty docile, so I'm not too afraid. This is the Euplastris Capistratus, the pink zebra beauty. Well, okay, so Kilo Brachis King Kerchan, what was that even? I don't know, man, but <laughs> I'm glad she's over there. Okay, <laughs> I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon, okay? Calm down. Now let me take your water dish. Cause, come on, you were over there. Go back to sleep, my goodness. Go back to sleep. Anyways, this is the Dark Earth Tiger. Why'd you have to come be a busybody? Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep, my gosh. Calm down! Crazy. Next up, we've got the Acanthoscuri Geniculata. This is the Brazilian White Knee. Come on. Let go. Let go. Okay. Move. Yes, you're welcome. My Histocrates Gigas enclosure, she's down there. Thank God. This is another one. You can see one of a foot right there. Here's another Acanthoscuri geniculata, the Brazilian white knee. Lassiodora klugi, Bahia scarlet. There's some nice fresh beverage for you. Enjoy. 
Here's the Ceratodorus marshalli, the great or straight horned baboon. And you gotta web up your water dish. Hmm. That's right, back off. Why don't you ever use that next level down there? It's like I built two levels for you and you just sit on top. You're supposed to be a burrower. Go down. This is my Nandu Tripepi, the Brazilian giant blonde. She's usually very food responsive, so as you can see, just a slight movement and she goes for it. Typical Nandus. Are you serious? She just kicked that piece of moss out of the enclosure. You two gotta learn how to calm down, you're a new world. Behave like one. Damn, girl. Whoa. What is your problem? Here, take back your moss. This is the Acanthoscoria chaquana, also known as the Bolivian pink. I've got a feeling that this video is going to be pretty long. Sorry, guys. I, I mean, we're already done with this shelf, as well as the ones over here. Now we're just left with this table over here. I'm not going to be including the ones upstairs because those are mainly arboreals and you won't be able to hear water being poured in. But anyways, here's my Phonopelma calcodes, the Arizona blonde. She's always out in the open, never uses a hide. It's quite a nice hide. No idea why she doesn't use it. Down there is a Pamphopedis platyoma, the Brazilian pink bloom. Let's get this out. Put it back. Fill it up, and we are done. Here is the Davis Pantaloris, the Guatemalan Tiger Rump. No, you're really small, come on. Think you're so big? Go drink your water. This is my smaller Aphonopelma Calcodes. I'm filming because I've got a feeling that she'll go into her hide. Yep, as I mentioned. Well. You've got a good look of her. There she is, showing her butt at us. This is Ternochilus lugardi, the Fort Hall baboon. Here's the pumpkin patch tarantula. This is the one that is on my profile display picture. King baboon, Palinobius muticus. Since we don't always see her, let's just give her a cricket, shall we? And there she is. In here, somewhere, over there, can you see the legs? Yup, that is my skeleton tarantula. This is the Orphanaca species Marinduki. This one is from the Philippines. No, don't go away, come out. By the way, Alright, can you see the legs? Yeah, it's not clear. But this is my Heteroscodra maculata, the Togo Starburst baboon. This one only comes out when it's at night, so... That was a bit loud. Anyways... Wow. Talk about covering your water dish up with web. Seriously? Why do you do this? I don't see the pleasure in it. How do you want me to fill your water dish now? You want me to like, cut the... Yeah, that's right bolt away. So now you want me to like cut it open like this? Okay, you asked for it. Ew, what is that? What on earth is this? That's nasty, man. I have no idea what that is. Ugh. Yep, that's getting out of here. The hell was that, man? Anyways. Oh no, it's dirty. Let's just get this out. I don't care about your web. It's for your own good. There, web all destroyed. I'm not going to say sorry to you because it's for your own good. Stop webbing up your water dish and this won't happen again. In here is my Thailand Golden Fringe. Well, in the hole over there, can you see? There's her back legs and her abdomen's right there. Not very clear because as always, my phone doesn't focus down holes. These guys like it a little bit damp, so... Cochiana Bruna piece, the dwarf pink leg. Look at this girl, already being like this as soon as I opened the enclosure. She's so mad till she flipped upside down, wow. This is not going to be a very good idea, but would you like some water? Here you go. You can drink it from your mouth now. Check out her fangs, guys. 
crazy cobalt blues. So guys, that will be it for today's watering video. If you liked it, feel free to thumbs this video up. If you don't, you're also free to thumbs it down. You asked for a part 3 watering video, you got a part 3 watering video. Leave a comment down below what you think about this one and let me know which is the best so far, first, second or third. If you guys would like to check out the social media, everything is linked in the description below as well as my Patreon if you'd like to support me through there. If there are new patrons that I haven't mentioned yet in a previous video, I will list them on the screen right now. So those names who are on the screen right now, thank you all so much for your support. You have no idea how much it means to me. It really, really helps me out and I really, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. So I guess that will be it for this video. Any other videos you'd like to see me do, feel free to leave a comment down below. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. You guys need to calm down. Like, seriously, wow. <laughs> and this is just a fraction of the amount of comments. Yeah, guys, now you can calm down because, well, let's just continue watching this video. Hi. How you doing? Well, I'm doing great. I hope you are too. Please don't kill me today, okay? Everyone has been requesting for this video. It's either you behave or, yeah, just behave, please. Wow, thank you. I appreciate it, really, I do. Whoa, guys, so this is a miracle. I'm so surprised. Look at her, how well behaved she is today. Get her some fresh water. Wow, I'm amazed. So I've got a good feeling for this video. Well, since she behaved today, would you guys want to see how she eats? Of course you do. Who wouldn't? Wow, she doesn't even want to eat. She's such a good girl today. Wow, look at that. Guys, this is so unlike her. She's being very, very good today. Very, very polite. All right, I hope the rest are behaving like this today. This is the Brazilian Pink Bloom, the Pamphlo- Oh my god, there she goes. Just wanted to show you guys how she looks. That was quick though. Pamphlopetius Platyoma, also known as the Brazilian Pink Bloom. There we go. Her carapace has the little pink, two little pink things and her legs are like purple. Pretty cool looking tarantula. They aren't really aggressive. They're just very food responsive. So wait, let me go get a cricket for her. But before that, Oh, by the way, if the ASMR sounds a little bit wrong or different, it's because I'm using a can today. Previously, I used a bottle, so I'm just gonna try a can out. If you guys like it, I don't know, let me know in the comments. If you guys prefer the water bottle, let me know in the comments. But hello, I'm a cricket. Would you be interested in me? Oh, yes you- whoa. Yes, you are. That was a pretty quick takedown. Next, we have the Selena Cosme Javanensis. I'm just filming over here because as soon as I touch this, she's gonna go in. Yeah, as you can see. Oh, I'm surprised. Usually when I touch an enclosure, she goes straight in. I just love what this one has done to her enclosure. Look at the burrow, look at the webbing, and yeah, let's just drop a cricket. Um, okay. I was hoping that she would come out so we can see her more, but it looks like we that, that made it worse. I guess that's the best we can see her. Beautiful, beautiful tarantula as well. That's a beautiful enclosure she has made. But let's do what we came here for. This is an Asian species, by the way, so they really do enjoy it a little bit damp. So we'll just dampen the web. She can either drink from that or from... This girl has started to come out and stay out more often nowadays. This is the cobalt blue. I love that everyone's in such a good mood today. I mean, it's safer for both me and the tarantulas. This is... As I was saying, this is the Kilobrachis King Krichon. The Dark Earth Tiger Girl. Okay, you know, the Thailand Black? which was like really crazy, is very calm today. I expect you to be better. Like what is your problem? Hmm? Just giving you water, so behave yourself. Whoa, that one was a bit loud. My pumpkin patch just decides to stay in her burrow now. You can see those legs right there. 
and she hardly ever comes out nowadays. So I'll just... This is the tan color form OBT, also known as the Ternoculus murinus. Whoa, stay there. The Neoholothelli Inse Trinidad Olive. Now this one is a little bit annoying. I mean, look at the water dish. Every time I fill it up, she just, yeah, webs it up close. Pouring with this can really makes loud noises. Personally, I think the bottle sounds way nicer, but I'm just gonna use the can for today and we'll, we'll see how it turns out. My skeleton tarantulas enclosure, I know it doesn't look very nice and I don't know, really plain, but I really love what she did. Around the side over here, you can see she made a burrow and just sits there. This is awesome because I can always turn around and just take a quick look at her. She hasn't gorged herself till the point that I can't see her. And then when it's feeding time, she leaves her feet out, just waiting, and then I drop the roach and, I mean the cricket, or whatever, and she just grabs it and goes back right down there. It's pretty cool. I don't really have to worry about her because she is in there, so I'll just... Oh, another rare tease out. This is the Hederscodra maculata. Let's just, hopefully she doesn't... Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to see you and yeah, I won't disturb you. There's a gorgeous feet. These guys look like ghosts, like ghost tarantulas. They're like white on the front side and brownish on the back. It's really cool. But they're old worlds and you don't want to mess around with them. You really don't. Okay, that one just sounded like me peeing in the toilet. Why did I even bring that up? <laughs> ASMR ruined, just like that. Ew, what happened to water? Why do you like pour stuff in? Hey, you're a new world, behave like one. This one has a nice enclosure. There's a little chest, a broken chest. And then there's a coconut hide, which, yeah, she just blocked the entrance. What was that? Beautiful. Where are you going? Nowhere. I don't even know where this one is, like, I can't see the legs, I, she's not there, I don't know. Oh, there she is, you can see those legs there, there's one foot over there. This girl's gonna get a boyfriend as well, so. There was no sound. This enclosure needs it damp anyway, so. <laughs> we need sound. Give us some sound. There's the sound. I shouldn't have talked. I just destroyed the ASMR. I'm sorry! <laughs> King Baboon. She never comes out anymore, she just stays in there. I don't know why, but yeah. Reload! Oh, beautiful, this one's out. This is Orphanacus species Marinduki. Pretty cool, there's like brown on the top and then purple on the side, wow. But this one, I'm just gonna pour the water in because this one will, oh my goodness. <laughs> Too full. I'm sorry, but yeah, just like that. Um, hi, how you doing? Hope you're well. Please don't kill me. <laughs> okay, thank you. I had to do that quick, guys, because she can just change her mind anytime. And no, that shall not happen today. Look at that. Kilo Brachis Andersoni, the Burmese muster. I'm just glad that the water dish is like the total opposite of her, so she can't run towards me and grab it. My freshly molted Monocentropus balfouri, the Socotra Island Blue Baboon. Now this is probably the nicest she'll ever look because she just molted. Not sure how she's gonna react with me taking out her molt. No, please. No. No. Give me your molt. Let go. Let go of your head. Let go of your head. Thank you. Beautiful molt. Check out those fangs. Let's go. booty. Check out that black part on her butt. It's like, just, <laughs> it's a different color compared to the rest of her butt. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. So just let me take your water dish and you stand so majestically. I know. I'm just going to give you some good fruit punch. Enjoy your fruit punch. I'm sure you will. I think you'll enjoy cricket as well. 
Oh yeah, you will. <laughs> Good girl. Are you a male or a female? Your front legs look really, really long. Sold to me as a female? I don't know, guys. Ophonopelma calcodes, the Arizona blonde. Wow, look at this girl's colors. She just molted, as you can see. The molt, well, she destroyed it. No, don't eat your own molt. By the way, this is the Ophonopelma simani, the Costa Rican zebra. Beautiful looking tea. Whoa, 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 sorry. Yep, I think I'll just, yeah, so much easier. My estimation is just perfect. <laughs> I know you guys are jealous. Grandma Stola Rosea looking fine with those pink hairs. Wow, beautiful. Gotta love your rose hairs. I don't understand why people don't like them. Yeah, you can drink from there now. You're welcome. This one's a Gramostola pottery, the common rose hair. You see the difference? Whoa, come on. You're a new world. Please don't act like the Thailand Black. Three videos previously. Hey, out of the way. Go, go away. This is your water dish area. Not your area. Move, get away. Water's gonna come falling on your legs. You like that, don't you? Don't you? Well, drink your water now. I'm pretty sure you're thirsty. Thirsty. <laughs> Man, I gotta grow up. Grow up, exotic love. Grow up. I'm 12 anyway, so hehe. <laughs> That's what my friend said. You know whose enclosure this is? Well, the good thing is, she is in there and doesn't look like she's gonna come out, so I'll just use my hands. Yep. Who needs tongs? And so other way to go. <laughs> Tongs are for the weak. Stay there, please. I'm making such a big mess. What's new? This girl is awesome. Usually very, very well behaved. And very, very well thick as well. Like... Enjoy your drink. Guys, remember this girl? The one that I always say that she's always fat even after she molds well? She just molted. No, come on. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Anyways, <laughs> she just molted again. And look at her butt. It, it's still fat. Yeah, guys. There. I'm not lying. She's still fat. And please give me the molt. And I'm going to make you even fatter. <laughs> yep. Look at that butt. Yeah, be even more fat. Oh, this girl. When will you ever stop being fat? Well, well, I'm partly to blame as well, but... Yep. Here we have the Guatemalan Tiger Rump, also known as the Devis Pentaloris. Don't know why she's on the sides. Oh, there we go. Yeah, be a terrestrial, not an arboreal. Now that is why they're called Tiger Rump. Look at the butt. It's like a tiger-shaped thing, but... So this is the Nandu Tripapi, also known as the Brazilian Giant Blonde, and look at what she did with her enclosure. She pretty much went into a burrow and just dug out all of the substrate and just piled it up at one corner. I saw her doing this for several days and looks like it worked. This one is a little bit food responsive, so usually anything that moves, as you can see, she'll just go for it. So, yeah, nope, it's not feeding time. Give me the water. There we go. Here's your water dish. Don't turn around and attack me. I said don't turn around and hey, behave. Gonna get yourself some drink. Let's go. Go enjoy. Enjoy your drink. Nice cold drink. This is the Acanthoscoria chaquana, also known as the Bolivian pink. For an Acanthoscoria, this one has a pretty good attitude, so... Oh my gosh, that was really loud. This thing makes me sound like I'm peeing. Like seriously, it really does. Oh, earlier I did mention about my Heteroscorda Maculata. Well, she is out now. Like I mentioned, she looks like a ghost, really white. And she is camouflaged perfectly with this wood, which is so cool. You gotta move because I wanna put your dish, so yeah. In previous videos, my Geniculatas are also very, I don't know, showing me bad attitude, but Whoa. But today, looks like all the teas are in a good mood. This is the Phonopelma calcodes, Arizona Blonde. And she is looking stunning as 
ever. Look at her, already coming towards the water dish. Very smart girl, here you go. Ooh, calm down, girl. Just go drink your water, okay? Here's your crate, is gigas. Whoa. <laughs> Scared me a little bit, but yeah, I don't think I'll disturb her because these guys can be very mean. Oh, look, it's her carapace from the moat. For a baboon species, these guys like it really damp and moist. Well, not really. They like it relatively damp and moist. Well guys, I guess that is it for watering my tarantulas part 4. I know this one wasn't too exciting, the teas weren't really aggressive. I mean, I'm not here to agitate them. Previous watering, they just decided to react more when I was taking out the water dish. But in today's one, they all were cooperating with me. So yeah, it may not be as entertaining as what you guys expected, like the first, second and third. but. We'll, we'll do a fifth one in the future, and maybe Miss Tylen Black over there will try to kill me again. I know that's what you guys want to see, right? But <laughs> I don't want that happening to me, but well, you guys want to see that, but I'm not here to agitate. I'm just here to change her water dish. So if she doesn't react to it, it's not my fault. Or if she reacts to it, it's not my fault either. So it's all up to her. Same thing goes with all the others. That's what the tarantulas feel like doing today. We just got to respect that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video regardless. If you did, be sure to thumbs it up. If you didn't, you're free to thumbs it down. Sure. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on that little post notification bell. Also, if you'd like to support through Patreon, there's a link in the description below together with the social media links. So feel free to go check those out. So that'll be it. I don't have any more things to say. If you guys still would like to see a watering video part 5 and I don't know, maybe you guys are hoping that they will react more. Comment down below. So next time, you guys take care and I'll see you in the next video. I wonder who this is. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I've already taken out her water dish and well, she didn't react when I did. But yeah, I went and washed it up nice and clean. So now we'll just put it back in and we'll see if she reacts to that. Hopefully not. <laughs> All right, girl. You. Okay. 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 You know, uh, okay. I took it out and you were super calm. She was just sitting there, guys. Literally, she was just there. And now when I put this in, she is back as what she's always known to be as. Okay. Look at this girl, you guys. Oh, she is angry as ever yo okay now it's time for your water are you ready whoops check out her claws yup tarantulas have claws now they're somewhat like cats they can retract the claws which is pretty cool i'm pretty sure a lot of you did not know that okay i'm done with you i'm done with you well, that was a nice start. Hello, <laughs> how are you today? Now, can you please, like, be nice with me today? I beg of you, please do not move. Do not move. Thank you. Thanks for cooperating with me for once. Oh, when I was pouring the water, it dripped over there and she moved. I was like, okay. This girl is definitely 120% will react when I take out the water dish because look at her legs. It's resting on the water dish. So I'm going to... You guys see what I was saying? Oh my gosh. And no guys, I'm not provoking my tarantulas. Gosh. You... Ugh. Okay, never mind. No guys, I'm not provoking my tarantulas. They detect movement, vibration. So when I want to take out a water dish, they will react. And no, I'm not going to leave the water dish in and just refill it with water because that, well, the water dish is full of bacteria. Just look at that. You expect me to leave it there and just fill it? No, I'm going to take it out. If it's going to make them react, too bad. I'm just going to take this out because I want to wash it. I want to clean it because I care for their health. I don't want my tarantulas 
drinking from bacteria infested water okay so if they're gonna react for that 10 seconds be it there's a difference between provoking and them reacting when they take out a water dish Anyway, sorry about that. Let's move on to the next tarantula. I'm gonna have to do a beginner species very soon because I've been getting a lot of questions and requests to do that. So, well, this is one of them. This is the Brazilian black, the Gramastola pulchra. This is one of them, a very good beginner species. I really, really love what this one has done to its enclosure. I look at all the webbing. And this is the enclosure, the one that I used, the clay that I got from outside. And so far, the tea has been doing perfectly fine. But she is always in there, as you can see. She comes out at night and just start webbing up the place. So yeah, it's really cool to see her do that. But during the daytime, she is pretty much just, just chilling in there. Also, the awesome thing about this substrate is that it doesn't mold. But one thing that I don't like is when it dries up, you see, it leaves a gap at the side of the enclosure, which, yeah, I don't really like that. But anyways... I also love what my skeleton tarantula did to her enclosure. It's just cocoa fiber, but she has made a tunnel down here and she just chills down there. Now, she was able to make this tunnel because I put a piece of driftwood in there. So if you guys want your tarantulas to build like a tunnel, cool tunnel like this, there's the legs over there. Yeah, you're gonna have to use something like a wood or, I don't know, some decorative stuff, some plant. That way they can make their way through all those. Here goes the water dish and here goes the water. Usually hiding is my header squadra maculata, the Togo Starburst baboon. Now these guys are supposed to be arboreals, but this one hides under the wood. She doesn't come out the wood, she hides under. So yeah, arboreal or not, I am not sure. It's definitely one gorgeous looking tarantula. It's like a ghost. It's white, it's gray, it's silver. I don't know, but it's still gorgeous. Like, tell me that's not gorgeous, you guys. This is one of my favorite tarantulas. If only it stays out more in the open. But you know, a hiding tarantula is a happy tarantula, so I'm gonna have to deal with that. At least she's out for us today. Time to refill. Ternaculus marinus, tan color form, the OBT. Now this is what I wanna talk about, you see. I put, I gave her a lot of substrate, just in case she wants to burrow, but these guys, I mean, look at my other OBT. It's right, focus, it's right over there in the open. You can't really see it properly, but she's there. Same goes with this one. Now, this is why I don't give super amount of substrate for quite a few of them because they don't actually burrow. They, when you give them a point for them to anchor their webs, like there's actually a hide over here, but it doesn't go in, it just webbed it up. But yeah, as I was saying, when you give them a point to anchor their webs, no, you don't come out, don't you, no, 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 no. A. Okay. 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 Uh, let me just finish explaining my thing. When you give them something to anchor their webs, they will just pretty much lay a mat of web and really don't really burrow. And that is not good. Okay. That is not good. I'm gonna have to take the uh, water dish. Come on, man. Web. Really? <sighs> okay. Let's get the water in first. Now I've got to worry about this girl. What am I gonna do? Oh boy, this is not good at all. This is also a problem if you give them a lot of substrate because they have more room to come out. Makes it much easier, but yeah. What am I gonna do with this girl? If I try to prod her in, she's gonna bolt. That's for sure, so. um, All right, let's just try, okay? Oh my gosh, dang it. <sighs> this girl, I tell you. There we go. Hmm. Okay, that makes it a little bit easier. There we go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Simple as pie. And that, my friends, is how you do it. All right, this one, the Orphanica species Marinduki. You can see the legs down there and the abdomen is right there. Now, this one's going to need a rehouse very soon. So stay tuned for that video. Just a little bit of water. Oops. Okay, so let's move on to the next tarantula, shall we? Pumpkin patch. There she is. 
the beauty. Now this one, I won't take out the water dish. I'll just clear off the web and then fill up the water. Yeah, that's right. Go for the water. It's for you to drink. Fresh water. In there, you can't really see. Oh, there we go. Just a little bit. This is a Davis Pentaloris Guatemalan Tiger Rump. What was that even? I don't know. This one is also a little bit crazy. Well, she can be when she wants. This is the Pamphopetius. Wait, no. Yeah, I can't remember. The name will be over here. I'm glad she's inside there because she can be... She can be a little bit crazy at times. Okay, now all the enclosures are on the floor for now because I want to wipe this table down because I haven't done that in. Look at the dust, like that is real, okay? So I want to wipe this whole table and then I'll put them back. Arizona Blonde of Phonopelma Calcodes. Let's go. This is the Sericopelma rubronitans, the Panama Red Rum. She is one picky eater, that's for sure. But that's okay because fresh water is the most important. They can go for quite some time without food. Whoa, look who's molting. Okay, I will put you over here gently so I won't accidentally kick you. Eupalastrus campestratus, the pink zebra beauty. A beauty indeed. Look at this. They're very familiar, well, to me, they're very familiar to the Chaco Goldeny, but not as vibrant in coloration. I don't know, I mean, to me. They may look totally different to you guys. There's a little bit of water on the ground. Go, go, go drink it. Go sip it up. You know you want to. This is also a very, very good beginner species, but Unfortunately, they're not readily available out there, but if you guys can manage to find one, definitely grab it. This is one example of an annoying thing when you're keeping tarantulas. They bury the water dish, like, yeah, it's annoying. You fill up their water dish and they just dump substrate in. Like, why? I don't understand why. It's for you to drink. Not too dumb, they can fill up a big water bowl like this with substrate in just a couple hours. So now I fill it up with water, tomorrow it can be just filled with substrate again. Like literally, I'm not even joking. Thank goodness my cobalt blue is in her burrow. Now I don't have to worry because this girl is a devil. She bit my friend twice and that was not fun. Acanthoscoria chacuana, Bolivian pink. Whoa, stay where you are. Whoa, calm down. It's just a water dish. No food today, okay? Alright, you see? It's just water. You want some? There you go. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. Here's another one that decided, hey, it would be fun to fill my water dish with substrate. Yeah, what's up with that? Ah, these guys, I tell you. Here, take your substrate back. I don't need it. Okay, nice and clean now. And I prefer it to be that way. Thank you very much. All right, so we have done quite a few so far. Now, we're gonna have to move on to the shelf over here. These guys still have their waters quite clean, but well, we'll change it anyway. Yo, look who just molted. This is so awesome. Now, she is a big girl. Now, I'm gonna throw the molt in front of her to distract her because I guarantee you guys, when I take that water dish, she's gonna react. So, here. Oops. Here, grab your molt. Okay. Now, you won't react when I take the water dish. See, guys, you gotta know your tarantulas. When they're focused on something, they won't turn back and attack you. So, yeah. Now she is currently focusing on her molt because she thinks that's some food item. I don't know. So while she's doing that, I'm doing this. Because having a Janiculata come after you, yeah, that is not fun at all. It's a real jump scare, you guys. This is the uh, Lassiodora Klugi, the Bahia Scarlet. All right, she's in a good mood today. Awesome. Because usually, when I make some movements, 
she will just come running at me and that is no fun. So I guess she knows it is watering time. Let's go. You like that? Of course you do. Look at what this girl's doing after I filled up a water dish. It's like, I'm gonna take some substrate and just put it in the water dish. I'm not even surprised if she's gonna do that. All right, surrounded jars, my sholly, straight horn baboon, let's go. She may react a little bit because you see her web is attached to the uh, deli cup. Please do not, okay. She seems a little bit calm today, so that's good. Now this girl, as you can see, unlike that other tarantula that I showed you guys just now, I think, was it the second or third one? Yeah, this one, she just webs up one corner of the enclosure. The other one's like, yeah, I'm gonna web up the entire enclosure. See, different tarantulas, different personality. Yes, may I help you? Such a shy girl. This is that unknown species, well, yeah. She may react, to be honest, but I, I think I'm ready for that. Am I? Okay, maybe not. Whew, my heart just skipped a beat. Whoa, okay, calm down. Woohoo! So, this is how much fun it is to work with old world tarantulas. Yeah, new world tarantulas will just kick hairs at you. Old world tarantulas, on the other hand, will want to kill you. Whoa, look at that. She even wants to kill water. Man, don't mess with this girl, I tell you. This girl has made use of a new enclosure pretty nicely. So that is awesome. I don't like the fact that she made a burrow underneath the water dish. Like, why would you do that? You have a burrow right here. Why? The water dish would just spill. Common sense, okay? Common sense. And I want to take the water dish. Why do you have to put your hand on it? Hey, you... Can you please, like, you, you want to come out again? I see. You want to come out again? I see. Well, I need your water dish first. Thank you. Hey, yo, I don't like the fact that you always want to come out, okay? You gotta, like, stay in your enclosure because, yeah, coming out is not, it's not how we do it. We, we, we need you to be in the enclosure. I'll fill your water first, don't worry. Okay, now, I have to deal with you. Now, go back into your enclosure, please. Yep, there you go. Thank you. Go have some water, okay? I'm gonna close you up now. This girl, always wanting to come out. Kilobrachis andersoni, Burmese mustard. Please behave yourself. No, I said behave yourself, please. Thank you. Oh, wait until I say thank you and then unbehave yourself, okay? Gotta behave yourself. Hello, hello, hello. Here's your water dish, please. Hey, what did I tell you? Behave yourself, man. This is the fifth watering video. Fifth watering video. You, jeez, learn to calm down. Jeez, this girl. Huh, <sighs> another one that decides to, yeah. This is an Arizona blonde, by the way. You see, this one dirtied her deli cup. I mean, filled it up with substrate. She just dug this amount of substrate from to make her little burrow and then she just dumped it into the water dish like this is a perfect example to show you guys that different tarantulas even of the same species have different personalities because you see this Arizona blonde just filled her water dish with substrate whereas that tarantula the other Arizona blonde has a perfectly clean enclosure, like perfectly clean water dish. That one has manners. This one has no manners. Oh my gosh, really? This is like next level. <sighs> Those guys fill their enclosure with water. I mean, with substrate. Wait, what, what am I saying? Those guys fill their water dish with substrate. What do you do? You tip it over. You flip it over upside down. Really? Really, how do you expect to drink water then, huh? You all gotta learn some manners, okay? Please move. Please move. I said move, not turn around. Yes, move. I don't need you here. Go away. There. Don't tip it over again. You got it? These two were dirty yesterday, so I already filled them up yesterday. I mean, cleaned them and filled. By the way, this is my grandma's dollar pottery. 
and this is my grandma Stella Rosea. So today we'll be skipping these two. Now moving on to these four. Do do do. Davis Pantaloris. This one has a shallowish water dish. Okay. So this tiny guy. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this tiny guy was over there just now, right? You you saw that. And as soon as I put this water dish, she came running here. I forgot to hit record. Man, that was such a good footage because I literally, I jumped. But you saw her bolt a little bit anyway, so. What was that all about, huh? What was that all about? What's going on, Nandu Kerapoensis? Can I please have your water dish? Thank you. Can you please, like, go down? I don't want you to be on the wall, okay? Please move. Nope. Move at the side. There you go. Here's your water dish. And here's your water. Here we go, you guys. Here we go. Hi, Miss Lord of Mercy. Please have mercy on me today. Well, well, the good thing is because her web is not attached to the water dish, so I think she won't feel it when I bring up the water dish. Like, yeah, that's good. That's what I'm talking about, good girl. Please keep it that way from now on, okay? Don't web up the water dish because I don't want to deal with you. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to deal with me as well. Yeah, that's right. Go back into your tunnel. Oh no, get away from the water dish, please. Thank you. Now eventually I'm gonna put these large females into a very nice display enclosure and then like put it in the middle of my hall or something because they are massive and very, very impressive. So when visitors come, they're gonna be like, yo, that is one big spider, so cool. This is another large species, not too beautiful I would say, but definitely a badass rustic look. This one is quite aggressive as well. Oh no, please don't come out. And by aggressive, I mean food aggressive because these guys will just attack anything that moves pretty much. I'm not gonna say aggressive because, yeah, tarantulas, are, they're mainly defensive. I wouldn't say they're aggressive. Aggressive means they come running towards you when even if you're not doing anything. So yeah, defensive. There you go. Enjoy your water. So guys, that will be it for today's watering video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to thumbs it up. If you didn't, you're free to thumbs it down. Now, if you're new to this channel and if you just enjoyed what you watched, like what you just watched, I can't speak right now, I'm sorry. Be sure to subscribe and hit that more little bit. Pff, I, I give up. I give up. Okay. Well, just hit that notification bell. Yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> if you're new to this... Are you serious? If you're new to this channel again. If you'd like support through Patreon, there's a link in the description below to get over the social media links. So feel free to go check those out. Yeah, guys. I'm not going to be talking too much anymore because I'm, I'm like, I'm done. Okay. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Oh my, jeez, what the hell? I've got my bottle and well, the most requested video, the most requested video series that we used to do is finally back. Yes, this will be watering my tarantulas. I think it's part six. Man, it's been such a long time. And this is Miss Thailand Black. As you can see, she has finally made a burrow for herself. Yeah, in previous videos, she usually just laid a layer of web on the ground, right? And then she will literally attack me every time I take out her water dish. Now her water dish over here she tossed in substrate that's why it's a little bit yellowish but yeah hopefully today she doesn't come running out at me because that will not be fun but I don't know because she has attached her web to the water dish so let's just see how this goes got my tongs over here and I don't know let's see what happens okay Whew. let's go girl please do not do anything oh my gosh no, 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 please, no. I can't, I'm having a hard time trying to take this out. Woo! 
okay, there we go. She has, I don't know, a little bit of threat posture in there, but I think she's fine. And here you go. Oh, calm down. Here is a very nice clean water dish for you. Look at her. She is definitely not happy at all. But let's go with the water. Now, since she was a good girl, let's give her a little treat, shall we? Here you go, girl. Have a super worm. What are you doing? Can you please, like, grab the super worm? Like, no. The super worm is... I don't want to put my tongs in there because... <sighs> I think she'll grab it. Okay, my heart has started beating like I don't even know. So this is the Kilo Brachis King Krachan Dark Earth Tiger. Look at what she's done to a water dish. Okay, I'm just gonna go in for it, okay? Woo, 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 woo. Don't come out, don't you dare. Okay, yes, go in there, go in there. I mean, come on, man. Why would you web your water dish, you genius? Oh, oh, substrate water. That's quite nasty. I destroy the web every single time, but I have to wash the water dish, you know? These guys are very, very heavy webbers, and that is why they pretty much they up. They always web up their water dish. Next! Oh, I think this one's in pre-mold because it's sealed off the burrow and is in there. Oh, I think... It did molt. Yeah, I think it molted. So this is my Hapalopus species, Columbia Large, the pumpkin patch. Her water dish is not dirty, so I'll, I'll just fill it up. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, it's dirty. Gonna have to wash this now. Pop this back in just like that, and we go. All right, moving on to the next tea. Hey, 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 you're up next. You're up next, come here. Please behave. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Should I take this out first? Or, oh, no, 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 please, no, no, please. Okay, good. So now, <laughs> wash time. Oh, good girl, good girl, all right. There you go. And because you're a good girl, you get a treat. Here's a little super worm. Oh, whoa, whoa. Calm down! It's a super worm, it's food! What is your problem? What is your problem? Jeez, are you serious? Just said you're a good girl, so I... <sighs> okay. Okay. Well, okay. Fine. You don't want your super worm. Do you want me to take it out? I'll take it out. Fine. Be ungrateful. Don't eat your super worm. This is my Pamphobedius platyoma. You can see the very nice purples down there. Oh man, my phone not focusing again. There we go. Let's get her out so you can see her. This one is almost guaranteed to eat. As soon as she feels movement, she will come out. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was quick. I just jumped a little bit right there, but there we go. And she didn't come out fully. Come on, let's grab another worm so she will come out for us. Here we go. Let's go. Oh man, come on, worm. Why'd you have to go into the burrow? Oh my gosh, worm. Seriously? Oh, you'd die anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's fill the water. Lord, have mercy on me. Can you please? Oh, have mercy! Have mercy! What are you doing, man? Seriously? Can you please? No! No! You seriously have a big problem. Seriously, man. Hear the stridulating fangs. I know, I know. I'm just changing water dish. This is the sixth watering video. You seriously have problems. You have big issues, my friend. Check out this tarantula. Whoa! Okay. Not going near to you, my friend. Not going near to you. Are you hungry, though? Do you want a super worm? Since you're bad, I'll give you a small super. Okay, fine. You don't want your super worm or... Do you want it? Of course you do. That's right. Grab your super worm. Be a good person for, for once. Oh, gosh. Jeez. Crazy. And I'm not even close to them, to be honest. I'm just bringing my phone around, around here. Yeah? Like, on top here. I just zoom in every now and then, but let's move on to the next tarantula. Death Nugget, what are you doing? Have some super worms. 
<laughs> Alright, let's go. Fill up your water dish. Are you ready to get your water dish clean, Death Nugget? Yeah. By the way, guys, this is my tea stirby, the Goliath Bird Eater Burgundy. Goliath Bird Eater. She gets a special water dish compared to the rest because why not? I had this water dish lying around so I thought, hey, why not give the beast a different water dish? Yeah. Oh my gosh! My um, Gramastola Rosea red color form is molting! Finally! Good thing her water dish is full though and after she molts she can go and have a quick drink. So I'm not going to be touching her enclosure because when tarantulas are molting, you want nothing to do with them. Don't go near them. Don't even move their enclosure. This girl, my Grandma Stola Pottery. I just paired her with the male the other day and she is looking really, really thick. So hopefully she has some good eggs in there. Can you please? No, this is not the time. Please move. Please move. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, man. Release. Release. <laughs> okay, fine. Let me give you a super worm. Yeah? Do you want a super worm? Hmm? You want it? Okay. There you go. Now, please release. Get off my water dish. I mean, your water dish. Get off, get off, get off, get off. Seriously, man. What is your problem? Oh my goodness, I've already given you a worm. Thank you. And you have to throw everything in here? What is your problem, man? Take back your moss. And people say rose hairs are docile. <laughs> yeah, right. My rose hair is a devil. Just look at her. If you're pregnant, you're gonna have to get some clean water. So can you please cooperate for once? Yeah, that's not enough. There you go. Enjoy. Please, enjoy your water. You have molted. There. Yeah. Good job. But you have also emptied your water dish for some reason. So can I please take this out without you attacking me? Thank you. Please stay there. Do not dare come out. I mean, please don't come out. I don't want to test you. There you go. Enjoy. What's with your abdomen? Why is it so oblong? It's supposed to be thick and round. And give me your molt. Cause so crispy. Whoa! Sorry. Sorry, I know your leg fell on you. <laughs> Would you care for a superworm by any chance? Oh yes, you will. Beautiful. Good job, girl. Happy, happy dance. Please spin around the superworm. Oh, well, that superworm's a goner. By the way, oh my god, sorry. Yeah, I did this. I literally did this on top here and she felt it. No, I did not touch her, but yeah. Anyways, if you feel cringe, thumbs it up because Hell yeah, this channel is about cringe and tarantulas. Go read my about page on YouTube. Yeah. Cringe makes the world go round and cringe makes the world happy. So yeah, cringe. That's what we're all about here. This one always webs up her water dish and her water dish is always... I mean, she is beside her water dish always. This is my Sorata Jars Marshali, the great Horned baboon, you see that very nice horn over there? Yeah, that's why they're called great horned baboons, because they're horned. And it's great. But the good thing is, this girl is pretty chill for the most part. For a baboon, she is very, very chill. Look at that. She just walks away. This is why I love this girl. She's probably my most well-behaved baboon. Oh my... Okay, yeah. <laughs> she didn't attack. She just wanted to retreat back down there. But as I was saying, she's one of my... Well, actually, she is my most docile baboon tarantula. Now, these guys can be very, very defensive. But this individual over here, she's just awesome. And also the good thing is she never ever dirties her water dish. She is a very, very grateful tarantula, unlike some tarantula. Yeah, I wonder who. <laughs> but yeah, she is very, very grateful and very, very well behaved. She has never once dirtied, or maybe she did before, but now she doesn't dirty her water dish anymore. Let's see if she'll want a super worm. I'll give her a big juicy one because she is a very, very good girl. See, there's a good girl. 
one? Yeah, there we go. See, such a gentle attack for a baboon. My other baboons. Man, you guys know my other baboons. They're greedy as hell, man. This girl is a gentle little... Yeah, moving on. This girl's enclosure is supposed to be over there. And we've already fed and watered this one. See, it is still... Oh, okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah. These guys are done. And this guy is still molting. You see, some progress over there since just now. She's almost out. But I'm not going to be moving her enclosure. So, luckily, these two water dishes are still full and clean. This is my... I'm not sure where she is. But my Serata Jar is Darlingi. And this is Miss Lord of Mercy. Sorry, guys. We can't do watering for Miss Lord of Mercy now. Because this one is in a very, very vulnerable stage. So, next time. This is my Eupalastra. Campus Stratus, the pink zebra beauty, a pretty pretty docile species. So if you want your first tarantula and you see this for sale, definitely consider getting it because they are pretty chill. Tongs are for the week. <laughs> yeah, there we go. See? Simple as pie. Simple as ABC. I don't even know what I'm saying. Welcome to the channel of Spiders and Cringe. We hope you enjoy your stay. Ophonopelma calcodes, Arizona blonde. Can you please go away from your water dish? And why? Why do you have to throw in moss? I don't understand. Do you have a problem with... Okay, out of the way. Out of the way. Yeah. Stay there. Oh. Water dish is not straight. Gotta straighten it just like that. There we go. Hey. Hello. Man, you are... Whoa! Did you see that? <laughs> Her spinneret, that, that, that butt piece over there, those two things. She just... Oh! There we go! Twerk, twerk, twerk. <laughs> hey girl, you good? Oh, no, 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 you're not coming out. You are not coming out. Watch your feet. Oh, there we go. Good girl. Acanthoscora geniculata, Brazilian white knee. Oh, whoa, whoa. Can you please not flinch? Can you please not flinch? If you want to come on straight, just whack. I mean, no, I, I, I take my words back. Please don't whack me. <laughs> you guys know this geniculata? This specific tarantula literally jumped towards me when I fed her when she was a little girl. That was not fun. So, um, let, let, let's see if she'll take a nice superworm. Do you want a superworm? Oh, there we go. Good girl. <laughs> she has grown a lot, like, compared to what she was when she jumped at me. Can you imagine if this size, when she's here now, she jumps right at me? Hell no. Oh boy. Wish me luck. Here's my Kilobrachis Andersoni, the uh, Burmese mustard, the other crazy one besides Miss Thailand Black. But Thailand Black today was very, very well behaved. She, on the other hand, I am not very sure, so only one way to find out. Oh my gosh, please. Oh, did you see how quick she turned around when she was sleeping and did you see how quick she just turned around jeez okay can you please 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 no 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 jeez calm down you guys seriously man if you're a beginner please don't get this girl please do not get the oh my goodness please do not get the kilobrachis andersoni they are mean they don't care if you give them fresh water to drink no My heart. Yeah, thank you, girl. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Here is my beautiful Davis Pentalors, the Guatemalan Tiger Rump. I wonder why they call them the Tiger Rump. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, you guys. <laughs> Comment down why they're called the Tiger Rump. I don't know. Seriously, I, I don't. I actually have a lot of other tarantulas that I won't be featuring in this video particularly because, well, they have their water dish pretty much full and clean. So whatever that is dirty, not full and unclean, wait, that's dirty as well. Yeah, dirty or unclean or, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Dirty, unfull, not full, unfull, my English. Dirty, unfull or empty, yeah, we will be featuring in this video today. So if you only see a little bit of of tarantulas I'm sorry okay the rest are still with full water dishes oh and this one is almost done Woo! almost done molting good job girl good job here is my pamphobetia cf antinus the big black this girl's crazy you guys watch this okay I'm gonna grab two super worms here and whoo the super worms no 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 calm down calm down calm down please where did that super worm go there it is there we go there we go here you go Oh, okay, fine. 
You'll just get one today. I'm seriously afraid of this girl. Don't play around. They are new worlds, but are super, super fast as you just saw. So, ho, 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 ho. Chill, relax. This is the Nandu Colorado Velocis, the Brazilian black and white. See, black over there and white over here. And of course, the biggest butt of my tarantula collection. Let's get this out. Oh, chill. Hello, are you a good girl? Why do your eyes look so, <laughs> so sad? Oh, look at this beauty. This is my Nandu Tripepi, the Brazilian giant blonde. Very, very beautiful looking tarantula, but very, very skittish. Like literally, they are very, very skittish. When they feel something, they will literally bolt away as quick as possible. These guys, I love them because look at their legs. It's very, very fluffy and it makes them look very, very big, but yeah, this girl is only about, well, actually she's a good six inches. Yeah, these guys get about eight inches, I believe. Whoa, she's come to say hello. Oh my, jeez, what the hell? What the hell was that? Are you serious? I was just literally, guys, you guys saw me, right? I was literally just filling up the water dish and she just came at me. I did not even touch you. I wasn't even near you. Oh my gosh. Do you want a super worm? I shouldn't be rewarding you for being aggressive, but there you go. Grab the super worm. Whoa. Jeez, my gosh. This girl is definitely something today. Okay, so after what happened with that Nandu Tripepi, man, that was so unexpected. This girl, she is usually, yeah, she is skittish. When she feels something, she will bolt away. She will run. But it's a very rare case that she turns around after being so calm. You saw her walking and turning so calmly, right? And then she just, just... Oh. Yeah, so after that, we will be done with the tarantulas for this watering video. Now, we are not ending this video just yet. Just give me a one more minute, okay? One more minute and then we will get over and done with this video. I know this video is quite long already. Those who have short attention spans and you have reached part of this video, comment, I don't know, I'm proud of myself, yeah. Hashtag, I'm proud of myself. Good job, because for me, I'm a person with super short attention spans, so I would also comment down, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> so, to end this video, we will be watering. If, do you guys remember this enclosure? Oh man, you already saw it, but yeah. Do you guys remember this enclosure? It was from my scorpion video. If you haven't watched it, go and check it out. What have you been doing? Seriously. <laughs> but yeah, just a quick update on my forest scorpion. He is doing super well. So, we're going to be watering him today, and well, let's go. And that's not it because these guys like it very, very damp and humid. Here you go. Some water in there for you and that's 500 ml of water gone to this guy. So yeah, that will be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to thumbs it up. If you didn't, you're free to thumbs it down. If you're new to this channel, subscribe and hit that notification bell that's on the right side of the subscribe button. Right or left, I don't know, but it's, it, it's a little bell. Yeah, you'll know what to do. I hope to see you guys in the next video and we'll talk later. Peace. Oh my gosh! Wow! Welcome back to another video, my friends and family of the internet. So today, you saw this bottle and what else are we gonna do with a bottle? Exactly! A watering my tarantulas video part... Oh my gosh. Watering my tarantulas video part 7. So let's get on with this video. I'm gonna have to fill this up. So let's go. Just get some water into this big boy over here. So today, we're gonna be starting off with everyone's favorite tarantula, Miss Thailand. Black. I don't think she will be crazy in this video like how she was in previous videos because now her enclosure is pretty big The water dish is quite far away from her which in return doesn't allow her to I mean not doesn't allow her It doesn't make her like go over there to attack me. I mean it's better for her Let's just get this see no reaction whatsoever because she couldn't feel the vibrations that was quite far from her So I'm gonna have to wash this out put it back in and y'all know what's coming up next don't you? Exactly, everyone's favorite ASMR. 
I hope you heard that well. Yeah, but anyways, since she didn't react today, let's get a close-up on her. Very, very calm girl now. And the thing is, this girl, she doesn't burrow. This is the pre-made burrow that I made for her when I set her up this enclosure. But unfortunately, she doesn't use it. She just stays on in the open. Every time I open that lid, she's either here or here or here or just, just pretty much on top. She's never down there. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this Thailand Black. Next up, we have my Pamphil BTS CF antennas, which is right over here. Very, very big, chunky girl. I mean, look at that. Tell me that's not chunky. She also has a big enclosure like the Thailand Black, so I can just use my hand because, I mean, why not, right? She likes damp substrate, so I guess I can just pour the water like on here, right? Like, like let's water the root. There we go. Root has been watered. And then now, we gotta wash this. Put it back, and then... Oh, this one was pretty quiet. Let's move on to the next tarantula. You have seen enough of this girl, haven't you? No, you probably haven't. But I, in another video, we'll do another feeding video very, very soon, and you can see all the awesome takedowns, and hopefully, Miss Thailand Black would have some awesome reactions for us. But, I mean, for now, we're just gonna be giving you guys some soothing ASMR. Moving on, Costa Rican Zebra. And this girl is the girl that is ungrateful, and I mean, as you can see, I gave her a nice plant over here, and she just decides to pluck every single leaf. I mean, not every single leaf, but a lot of leaves. Just scatter it around and even put some in the water dish, making it even dirtier and harder for me to clean. Let's get this out. I think I'm gonna have to take these leaves because I'm not gonna be pouring them into the sink and just put it there. See, no reaction whatsoever because she knows she's guilty. <laughs> Anyways, let's get this a quick rinse and... Sorry if her barking ruined your ASMR. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like... Zena, keep quiet! So yeah, there we go. <laughs> she still doesn't listen. This is a Chaco Golden I don't really have to worry too much. There we go, you see? No attack whatsoever. Here is my Nandu Karapoensis, the girl that never gets thin whatsoever. I mean, no matter how much I put her on a diet, I mean, I feed her once a month. Sometimes she even goes longer without food and she just like, yeah, she, she never loses weight, which is, I don't even know. <laughs> even after she molts, she's still that size. She, she just, I don't even know, man. Oh man, I'm out of water and now I'm full of water. <laughs> All right, let's go. There we go. Brazilian whitening. Man, why does she have to be beside the water dish? And why does she have to throw like bowls inside there? Very, very disgusting girl. Now this girl beside the water dish can be a little bit sketchy. I mean, look at her. She is, oh, she's very, very calm. Do not attack me. Oh my goodness. Can you please not just make me a jump scare? <laughs> no, no, calm down, girl. I know you're thirsty. Here you go. You need some water. Oh, you just drank. Beautiful, but then you, you felt water coming up and then you just just went away. Nandu Colorado Velocis, the Brazilian. Oh my goodness, can you calm down? Please calm down. And you can see this one, she just decides to throw in substrate into the water dish, which then just absorbed all of the water, which yeah, I don't I don't I don't like. I don't appreciate that. So I'm gonna have to take out the substrate, which is over here. You see, she just dug it from the corner over here. I'm just gonna be putting it back, okay? I'm putting it back. I don't care if you took time to dig that. I'm just going to take the substrate from here because you need water. I don't appreciate you not appreciating me giving you water, all right? And there we go. This girl is super, super skittish, so please stay where you are while I put your water dish over here. She can just run here anytime, but the thing is, this girl doesn't actually run towards you. She runs away from you and just bolts out. Oh, no, 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 please stop, stop, stop. Okay, thank you, thank you. Just stay in there, please. Stay in there because I don't want to deal with you running out because this girl is big. She's about six inches. Yeah, I couldn't talk because I'm giving you guys your ASMR. But there is my Nandu Colorado Velocis, the Brazilian. Oh my gosh, she just kicked hairs. Brazilian, black, and white. Now, my goal in this video is to not get kicked hair at. Kick hairs at. Yeah, I don't know, my English. Brazilian pink blue because, I mean, look at her carapace. That is so awesome. And this one, whoa, I'm surprised. This one kept her water dish clean, rather clean. This is just a little bit, ooh, she is calm today. Thank you, thank God, because this girl moves towards any food. Okay, wait, let me test this out. Right, I've got a tiny mealworm here. Let's see if she goes for it, all right? Let's just put it in front of her. 
Oh, you see? You see? A slight movement. Even the tiniest mealworm, I mean, compared to what she should be eating, she just goes for it. So, yeah. Incoming for the drop, because, ooh. Okay, because I get pretty nervous with this girl. I mean, she's already with her food, so I don't think she will come after me. This is... Kilobrachus andersoni, Burmese mustard. And this girl, I mean, she... Uh, I don't know, let's let's try to... Hopefully she doesn't attack me because she is the second one besides the Thailand black that is a little bit on the cuckoo side. So, thank goodness she didn't dirty a water dish, she just kind of depleted it. You see, even my Andersonis calm. Look at that! And then now, let's just spritz her a little bit. Because, why not? There we go. Beautiful. She's a little bit in threat posture. Awesome! Wow, thank you for not cooperating with me and not appreciating the water dish. Now, can you please get out of the way before you get hurt? Because I want this. Thank you. You don't threat posture at me. I'm doing what's best for you, okay? I don't like this. I don't like what you have done to the place. Where did you even take this out from? Seriously? Like over here? I don't know, but I'll just put it over here. Although it's a little bit ugly, but... There we go. All right, moving on to my formic. Oh my goodness! No, 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 no! Please do not come out. My formictopus species green, Dominican Republic green bird eater. Very, very beautiful girl. I love this girl. I seriously, I love this girl. I'm so glad my friend sold her to me. No, please, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh! Okay, I'll, I'll just do your water dish first, and I'll come back for you. Be right back. Oh my gosh, well on the bright side, she's not attacking me for the water dish, but not so bright side, she is on the loose. She is on the loose! So now I'm just gonna have to... Oh no, where is my catch cup? I did not expect this to happen. I need a catch cup. Do not, do not, you just stay there. You freaking, like, like, do not move, okay? Man, she is massive. She's a good six inches, man. All right, so where are my cups? There's one cop. Let's see if this one would fit her. Oh, she is moving. She is on the move, you guys. She is out and ready to rumble. Okay, you know what? Let, let, <laughs> sorry for the cringe, but let's see if she will actually eat outside. Let me get a mealworm because it'll be pretty interesting to see her if she eats outside. Girl, are you hungry? Do you want to like... Oh, you, you don't want to eat? <laughs> Yo, the mealworm. The mealworm's like, no. Yeah, I guess she doesn't want to eat because she can't really feel it. I'm pretty sure she can, but... Oh, man, this catch cup is just... Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. She is massive. Oh, gosh. Why do you do this to me? I do not appreciate this at all. But thank goodness she is an old world. Can you imagine an... I mean, a new world. Can you imagine an old world at this size doing this to me? Hell no, man. Hell no. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. No, please, no, 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 no. Can you please, no, 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 please, no, no, stop, 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 stop. Can you please, you know, you, 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 no, 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 you do not do this to me. Please do not do this to me. Okay, there we go. Please just stop. Stop it. Stop it. No, no, you do not. Hell, freaking no, hell, freaking no. You stay in, man. You stay in. Oh my gosh, this girl. What is your problem, man? Your legs. Be careful. Seriously. Just gotta chill, man. Just chill for once. Miss Tyler and Black didn't react. Kilobrachus Anderson didn't react at all, but at least this girl gave us some content. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, despite me creating this video and uploading it, explaining why I don't do watering videos anymore, you guys are still highly requesting another watering my tarantulas video. I already told you it's not going to be as exciting as the previous one, but I mean, since you guys still want one, let's do that right now. Okay, before we start, my table is made of wood, so water is not a good thing for wood. It's gonna expand the wood and spoil it. Now, who is the star of our watering videos usually? Miss Thailand Black, am I right or am I right? Yep, okay. So as you can see, Miss Thailand Black is over there. And usually in previous watering videos, when we take out the water, she will be right there attacking the water dish, like defending it, right? However, you see, I haven't even opened the thing and she's already gone in. So, I mean, yeah, it's not gonna be exciting, but since you guys want a water, 
mirroring video is what we're going to be doing today. So previously, I take water dishes out with tongs. Now I just take it out with my hand. Toss all the dirt into the sink. Give it a nice scrub with my finger. Lock the water dish back at its corner and your water ASMR. It's, it's nothing much anymore because the water dish is super small. Okay, so next up, same thing. Here is my Gramastula pulchra. It is right at the back there. Just molted. I mean, not exactly it molted quite a while back. I just didn't take out the mold. I mean, you can even hardly hear the water, you guys. This is my Pamphobetia species mascara. I have no idea where it is. Oh, it's right there. Perfectly camouflaged. There it is over there. This over here is my pumpkin patch. She actually had a bad mold and now has like seven legs, but she's doing fine. Okay, so down here we have Death Nugget, also known as the... Oh, what you call it? No, no, no. It is the Theraphosa Sturmy, also known as Death Nugget. There he is. I'll try my best to make the water sound as loud as I can, but it's still not loud. Okay, in here I don't really remember what I put in here, but it has pretty much dug out everything and just piled all of the dirt over there, which I'm not very happy about, but it's okay. Okay, so over here is another one that used to be super defensive during watering videos. This is my Kilobrachis King Krachan, the Dark Earth Tiger, which is pretty much just living in here right now. She never comes out, so yeah, we're not going to be seeing this one as well. You know what, since we have a lot of tarantulas, even on this side, I think we will just do the ones that are out. Like for example, my Chaco Goldeny over here. Because for the most part, all of them are in their heights, underground, and just not gonna come out and be defensive. I'll try to make this video as exciting, but it's not gonna be as exciting as what we did previously, but I'll try my best to make it as exciting and choose the enclosures that the tarantulas are out. And hopefully they have a reaction for you guys today, but no problem. Promises, okay guys no promises because if i were to go through every single enclosure it's going to be pretty boring because for one it's going to be super long because usually feeding videos when i feed all of the custom and enclosures it takes about an hour however feeding videos are way better because the tarantulas are coming out to eat but watering videos they're not coming out since they're in their burrows so yeah an hour long video no reactions it's going to be super boring so let's choose the ones that have tarantulas out in the open and the other ones i will just water them off camera all right so over here i <laughs> we have a curly hair tarantula and it's probably not gonna come after me again you see i mean yeah they're not gonna come after you the tarantulas that usually came after me back in the days were all the defensive ones and all of them are pretty much in their burrow in their height right now so yeah all right, next up, we have my Acanthoscuria geniculata, the Brazilian white knee over here. Let's see what she does. Nothing at all. Yes, for this one, I'm going to be using tongs because I don't trust her. Although she's not... Whoa, whoa, whoa. See what I mean? If my finger was there, that would have been the end. But yeah, that's pretty much what you're going to get for a watering video nowadays. Oh, okay, okay. I take my words back. I take my words back. Oh my gosh. All right, all right. I mean, these guys are generally very, very hungry species, so yeah, that's what you're gonna get. Okay, we've got my Lassiodora parahybana over here. Not a very big one, but yep. And you see, just runs away. I'm not too worried about this one, so I can use my finger. Okay, who else is out? Who else is out? We've got my other Acanthoscuria geniculata. Let's see what this one does. Since it's far away, you see. All right, here is another Acanthoscuria geniculata. I think this one's gonna give us something more exciting. Are you gonna? Actually, no. And I'm able to take this out with my hand now, no issues whatsoever. But definitely not for putting this back. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Yep. I think the geniculatas are the only ones that are going to give us something today. Go in. Calm down. <laughs> Man, it's been a while since we've heard that word. Calm down. Okay. 
Bad news for you guys, we are done with all my three geniculadas. Now, over here on this side of the enclosures, no one is out. So we're gonna have to move to that side. I really hope you guys are enjoying the video so far because I am like, I don't know. Because really, it's not really exciting for me. But if you guys are enjoying it, then I will do another one in the future. Okay, this one is considered out, I guess. There she is. So this is my Nandu Tripappi. Goodbye. Okay, this is the Lassiodora striatopes, also known as the Bahia Grey Bird Eater. <laughs> no reaction whatsoever. Okay, so no one else over here is out. On this side, we have my Thrixopelma or Curdy, which is over here. It's probably not going to do anything. I mean, just look at that. I'll just leave her like that and yeah, that's how she's just going to be. and not a single limb was moved. Still at the same spot. Okay, next up, you guys also want an update on my Arizona blonde over here. And well, the update on her is that she has not eaten for almost five months. I have no idea why. I guess Arizona blondes just like to go on fasting mode, but I guess it's fine since they are prone to do that. This one, I'm not even worried to even use my hand, like seriously. <laughs> But yeah, a lot of people actually contact me saying their tarantulas have not been eating for a month and they get worried. Don't worry. As long as the tarantula's abdomen is fat like this, then you are good to go. As long as they have access to clean water, they'll be fine. Okay, that one is done. Now, who else is out? Oh yeah, forgot my charcoal golden knee. And of course, you run away. Here you go. I'm not even worried of this one even. Okay, so this is the Bahia Scarlet Lesiodora Klugi. She's just gonna stay there as well. See you later. Okay, so this is my Grandma Stola Porteri Common Rose Hair. Not worried about this one at all. Okay, out of all the tarantulas today, I think this one is the one that I'm most nervous of. This is my Pamphobedius platyoma, and this one will most likely run at me, so I will be needing my tongs. Oh, okay. You are well behaved today. I'm surprised this guy is very well behaved today. Because let me show you, I've got a leaf over here, and I'll show you guys what happens when he senses just a slight leaf movement. You see, if that was the water dish, <laughs> that'll not be fun. Pamphobedius, very, very aggressive species. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm not sure if this one's gonna come after me. This is my Lassiodora parahybana. A very, very big girl indeed. And even you are not moving. Here you go. Whoa, okay, chill, chill. And she did literally nothing. She just moved a little bit of limbs and yep, that's it. Okay, so this is my Ophonopel Masi Mani. I'm showing you to people and you're running away. Okay. All right, we've got another aggressive species over here. This is the Green Bottle Blue from Adopel Masi Pubescence. And she didn't even do anything. <laughs> so yeah. That is pretty much the watering video life now. Totally different than what we had before, huh? But hey, like I mentioned, you guys have been requesting for another one, so let's do it. Okay guys, so this is the last one that is out of its burrow. I mean, it's in its burrow, but invisible state. This is my Formictopus species green, or also known as the Dominican Republic green bird eater. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and in goes the water ASMR. Which barely lasted two seconds. Alright guys, so I guess that will be it for today's watering video. I don't even remember is this watering video part 7, part 8. I don't know, I can't remember. But yeah, regardless of the tarantulas and how they are kind of reacting or should I say no reaction at all to this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you thumbs it up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you didn't. Now I'm gonna have to refill all of the other tarantulas enclosure water dishes because they got a drink too even if they're hiding. Oh yeah, one more I forgot. I'll just give you guys another one since this one is out. This is my Aphonopelma caniceps. See? Nothing. So yeah guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell.
and also comment down below if you would like another watering video because i've already done one after like explaining why i'm not doing it anymore but yeah for you guys all for you guys still let me know in the comments below if you would still goodbye if you would still like a watering video regardless so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video take care and as always have a good one peace you know what? Just for you guys, since you guys really love the water ASMR. Yep, these are the deli cups. Just for you guys. You better like this video. <laughs> welcome back you guys to another watering my tarantulas video today well we don't really have a lot of tarantulas out so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to do all of the ones that the tarantulas are out okay so as you can see over here my see my costa rican zebra is out so i will do that water dish on video however for example miss thailand black right she is not out so we will not be doing her we have got my curly hair over here so we will do her definitely as you can see water dish uh it still has water but it has depleted quite a bit these guys believe it or not they actually drink quite a bit of water and the one that drinks the most water is definitely the gbb you may be wondering why well i think right this is my thinking that it's because they like their enclosure bone dry like they don't like any moisture whatsoever so i'm guessing to compensate for that they drink a lot and a lot of water and a lot of people ask me do tarantulas actually drink their water well look at that now this and this these two were filled up the same day they both have the same amount of ventilation they're both in the same room the same heat the same temperature the same humidity everything so don't tell me that this one evaporated more than this no 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 no. no. it's just that this one doesn't drink more water this one drinks way more water the obt as well as you can see over there they drink quite a bit of water you see look at the amount gone it's like half so yeah without any further ado let's grab our water bottle and film this video this is what watering my tarantulas part nine i don't know but hey it's a watering my tarantulas video and for the tarantulas that are out since we're doing those we're going to be needing my tongs obviously i don't want to get bit no i have not been bitten oh okay that one is asking for a water change <laughs> this is wait this right here is my Lassiodora Kalugi. And this one, this girl is big and she is pretty scary. Yeah, she can pounce at any time. So I am going to be super careful and just... Oh man, this is not good. I cannot grip the... Oh, 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 my... Okay, okay. What am I gonna do now? Okay, <laughs> come on, girl. Can you please don't do this? Oh my gosh, okay. Please. Yeah, I know these are new worlds, but Lassiodoras, they can be pretty hungry at times. So, okay, okay, please. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. That's my water dish. I know it's yours, but yeah it's mine right now until i clean it for you <laughs> okay so what i do is i dump the water give it a nice wash and swish swash with my finger get all of the algae and muck out and of course i plop the water dish back where it was hopefully the tarantula actually appreciates that yes there we go okay hopefully the tarantula appreciates the sound as well well we're actually really close to the tarantula There we go. All right. Thank you, girl, for being well behaved today. Sometimes she's a bit crazy. So, okay. Next up, this one. This one, ugh, crazy one. Pamphobedias, Platyoma. These guys, you don't mess with. They literally will run after you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. That's actually very good, girl. Good job. Yes. Success. Well, not exactly because I've got to put this back in. Let's see how this goes. I'm just going to drop it. Oh, right. Sweet because she is a little bit crazy. And you want to know why she's crazy? I mean, you want to know how crazy she is? I mean, he. It's a he. Let's get a roach for him. The moment this roach drops, you see, it's, this is considered gentle, okay? This right here is considered gentle. So, yeah, I'm, I'm presuming that he's in a good mood, so that is good. Okay, this one. This one is out of it. Uh, usually, it is up there. I mean, she, usually, she is up there. As you can see, she wants to go back up, but it is time to change her water dish, so 
please oh, okay <laughs> look at her so this is yeah i think now she's up i can use my hands it's way easier than the tongs better grip as well as you can see there she is that's my obt now the thing is these enclosures allow the tarantulas to actually run and hide that is why they don't really get super defensive with me at least not anymore So yeah, that is pretty much what the watering videos are all about nowadays. But you guys are still asking for them, so why not do them, right? Alright, who else is out? Oh yeah, this one from the start of the video. Photopelma, Simani, Costa, Rican Zebra. <laughs> As you can see, she is there, gone in, so I can take it out with my hand. And of course, plop back the water dish, grab the water bottle, and fill it up. There we go. And there she is. Look at that. <laughs> okay, who else is out? Well, since this one is always thirsty, let's just clean her water dish as well. That's my GBB, green bottle blue. Very, very beautiful. This is probably one tarantula. If I had to choose, I will choose this one. If I had to choose only one tarantula to keep, it's probably gonna be the GBB because, I mean, it's freaking gorgeous. So let's grab the water dish out. She's not gonna run at me, thankfully. If you guys are wondering how often I change my tarantula's water, well, if it's clean, whoa, 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 whoa. If it's clean, like, for example this that's relatively clean usually about once every two weeks so everyone gets a water change about once every two weeks however say in the middle of that two weeks or any other day that i come in and check on the tarantulas the water dish is dirty like this here's my nanochromatis by the way i will definitely change this water dish oh my gosh girl chill like relax <laughs> your water dish is dirty it is time to clean come on whoa whoa look at her go but yeah if in the middle of the week i see a water dish something like this or depleted like the gbb i will change it but in general everyone gets a change every two weeks but you always got to make sure that all of them always if even if a little bit always must have access to water to drink if they don't you're asking for trouble. Like I'm not even kidding. They don't go long without water. So does any other animal and human. Water is probably the most important thing in life apart from air. So yeah, make sure they always have access to clean drinking water. And I don't like how a lot of people, right? They see their tarantulas dunk substrate into the water dish. And all they do is just take the water bottle and just fill it up, overflow it. And just, it's not clean for me. I don't like it. I mean, you guys can do it. But for me personally, yeah, just, just not my thing to do. I usually like to take out the water dish. Even if it's clean and has water, every two weeks, I like to clean it out. And of course, replace it with new water because nothing's better than a clean drinking water i mean yeah tarantulas can drink from a dirty water i mean like substrate in you can even like get a spray bottle and just dampen a side of the substrate like that and the tarantula will come and drink that but for me i don't really like that so i'll just change the water dish yes i know in the wild they don't drink from like rivers maybe they do but i know they do drink from puddles which is often filled with like mud and substrate and dirt and all those things but you know it just gives me a peace of mind that i'm giving them clean water and they have access to that I'm not saying that it's not okay to just refill the tarantula's water and not wash and swish wash the water dish. But for me, I think that the best way is to do that. Hello, Kentoscoria geniculata. Can I have your water dish, please? Okay, okay, okay. You want your water dish, huh? You want your water dish? No, 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 no. Give it to me. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you see, some tarantulas can be a little bit of a handful, but you just gotta know how to deal with them. Let me show you a trick as to what you can do if let's say you are scared to just do what I did, like to take the water dish when the tarantula is on the water dish. Say you have an aggressive tarantula like an Acanthoscoria geniculata over here, which is just the same one as a sibling than the one we previously did. What you can do is just give it a quick blow. And that lets the tarantula know that it's not feeding time. So you can just take the water dish, you can do anything, and the tarantula should not. I mean, I'm not going to say it won't, but it should not attack you. It's a pretty quick and simple way to do it, and it does not harm the tarantula whatsoever. So yeah, you see, you can just plop the water dish back with your hand. No issues for that, even for my one of my most aggressive species. And when I say aggressive, yeah, I want to point this out as well. I know tarantulas are defensive, but when I say aggressive, I mean food aggressive. Because a lot of people get butt hurt when you say tarantula are aggressive they're like oh it's defensive yeah i know 
<laughs> All right, so next up, let's feed, I mean, no, let's water my curly hair, which this one is usually scared of people, so... As you can see, this water dish, it's not full, but it is a little bit cloudy, which I don't really like. So that's why we're cleaning it today. Now with all these new enclosures, a lot of them get to hide. As you can see, like this one, just hiding nicely and snugly in the skull. Oh, hello. Come on, get a drink. Come get your clean water. Come get your clean water. Okay. So now we're going to be moving on to, I don't see any more out except this one. This one is super skinny. Look at that. This one just refuses to eat for some reason. Let's just attempt to feed it. I guarantee you it will not eat. Let's get a small roach. This one has been on fasting like forever. You see, I don't know what's the problem. It just refuses to eat. You see? You see? What's up with you, man? This, by the way, is my Afonopelma by Coloratum, the Mexican blood leg, which it just, what the heck, man? You are skinny and you don't want to eat. Ugh, you see? So annoying. I don't even know why. I guess it's one of the Afonopelma things. They just decide not to eat. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was not a good move. But yeah, as I'm saying, even my Ophonopelma calcodes over here, my Arizona Blonde, the, the main Arizona Blonde, not the other one, where actually both are, they're both fasting. Like, are you serious? This one has not eaten for about seven to eight months. This one has not eaten for about six months. And I just stepped on a dead roach. I don't know if you heard that crunch, but ugh. It was my accident, by the way. I don't go around stepping on roaches. <laughs> kind of fetish is that. <laughs> Gotta fill out the water. I don't really see many out because like I said, all these new custom-made enclosures give the tarantulas ample of space to hide. So that's always a good thing because a hiding tarantula is a happy tarantula. Unless of course you have ones like this Lassidora striatopes who likes to stay out in the open. But they're okay when you're taking out the water dish. At least this one is. Okay guys, unfortunately, this is the last tarantula that we will be watering because this is the only last one that is actually out and about. So let's see what she'll do. Whoa, okay. Thank you. Go, 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 shoo. <laughs> this time I'm going to use my hands because we're actually super high up and I don't want to drop this thing. The moment you drop it, it shatters and there goes your water dish. I mean, yeah, these water dishes are pretty cheap. About 75 cents, I guess. I think these are the IKEA water, eh, no, 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 the IKEA candle holders, water holders. What? Oh, hello. You're back to stare at me, huh? Hello. Okay, I'll just plop your water dish back over here. Don't kill me. Water bottle. And I'll just fill it up for you, okay? By the way, this is my Lassidora striatopis. This is the female. That is the male. And if you can hear some noise in the background, this is my aircon because it gets pretty hot over here. And even with the aircon, it's 81 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, guys, <laughs> that will be it for today's video. I think in this video, I've explained quite a bit for my watering and yeah, in my general tarantula maintenance. So I'm gonna have to finish watering up all of the other tarantulas, those that are in hiding. So yeah, it's not gonna be very exciting. That is why I'm not gonna be filming it. I hope you guys have a good one stay safe thumbs this video up if you liked it thumbs it down if you didn't i'll see you in the next video peace all right i was just watering all the others and here's the perfect example of you guys's questions of do tarantulas actually drink water so there's my sriracha jars darlingi take a look at what she is doing exactly she's drinking some water right out of the water dish not from the substrate right out of the water dish oh yeah huge thanks to my new patrons and also the old patrons but there are too many so i'll just list the new patrons here we have amatil 488 <laughs> okay 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 oh my go away go my that girl <sighs> Let us try something a little bit different today, shall we? <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit generous for my tarantulas today, okay? Don't judge. How long has it been since we have done a watering my tarantulas video? Two freaking years. Like, super long. So, I think today is the day that we try and do another one with some premium water. Yeah. I got some Avian, Avian, I don't know how to pronounce it. 
But I'm feeling a little bit generous for my tarantulas today. This is not cheap, okay? It's expensive water. And we are going to be... Well, we're just going to finish one bottle, okay? One bottle, we will choose whichever tarantulas that deserve this. And then we will... Yeah, let's just give them some, some, some nice mineral water, shall we? So as with other watering videos, I will not be doing the, the ones where the tarantulas are not out. So that way there, there's no action. I will fill their water dishes as well, but off camera. But for this video, we will be doing the ones where the tarantulas out so you guys can see. All right, let's give this an open. Oh, there we go. So like I've mentioned before, a lot of my tarantulas now are in hiding because they have a much better enclosure compared to what they were before in previous watering videos. So don't expect too much of action, okay? So this is my, what is this? This is my Acanthoscoria geniculata. Let's see how she reacts if I take a water dish. Oh, <gasps> all right, girl. Oh, wow, kicking hairs at me, kicking hairs. Wow, not being defensive. No, no, I mean, not being, yeah, it is defensive, but a different kind of defensive. Like, come on, girl. Just from this first girl, I'm already going to have some very, very itchy skin so <laughs> so not looking forward to that okay would you like some premium premium water yes you would wow <laughs> you you're gonna enjoy that okay so next up we have got another acanthoscoria geniculata Let's see, can I have the water dish, girl, please? Yeah, yeah, thank you, let go, there we go. All right, time to plop back the water dish. Oh, kicking hairs is, ugh, my God, hairs are all, <laughs> all flying around. All right, get some premium water. How about this geniculata? Oh my gosh, that is, this is going to be super scary and I am not, because she can run up and attack me at any time. Look at her. Oh no, that's, this is not going to be good. This is, okay, that's it girl, go down. Oh man, this is, this is really scary. This is the biggest genic that I have. Okay, can I get the, wow, okay, surprisingly she didn't run at me. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. 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 Don't be a little... Oh my gosh. Okay. Can you please not be... Don't be like this. Okay, girl? Don't be like this. <sighs> Alright. Here you go. Alright. Yeah? You got your nice water? Good girl. This is my Nandu Colorado Velosus, the Brazilian black and white. Let's see how she reacts when I take her water dish. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. So that is the the first Oh, the first defensive. Okay, girl. Calm down. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yep, that's the OG watering video reactions. Okay, girl, chill the freak out. She was definitely not happy with me taking a water dish, man. Oh my gosh. All right, you want some nice drinking water? There you go. Okay, so here's my Grandma Stola Ihe Ringy. I'm not sure how this girl is going to react. I think, I think she'll be fine because this girl, she's not aggressive at all. Yep. There you go. She's a very good girl. Here you go. There you go, girl. Next up, we have got a Ceratogyrus Marshali. Time to take out her water dish. Let's see. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, 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 give me the water dish, give it to me, oh my gosh, stridulating, man, stridulating, 
No, go away. Go! My gosh! You freaking... Can you hear stridulating? Oh my... Chill the freak out, man. Oh my gosh. Let go. Let go. Wow, she is gripping onto the water dish. Like no joke. Come on. Let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have it. Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, this girl. And now to put it back. There you go. All right. You are okay with me putting it back. So far, we have used about one third of water. Here is a Kilobrachis Huahini, the Asian. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, she's gone to the back. She has gone to the back over there. So now we can take her water dish and give it a nice wash. All right, she's still at the back there. So I better fill this up. Oh man, I just wasted some Avion. Oh my gosh. Oh, freshly molted sesame. Very beautiful. Let's see how this girl reacts. This is my Lassiodora striatopes. Okay, okay, that's right, run away. <laughs> <laughs> because, oh my gosh, did she just kick hairs? Don't even know. Oh, she's act. oh my gosh, she's actually in defense mode right now. She is not happy with us. Okay, let's give her some, oh my gosh, let's give her some water. <laughs> Oh my gosh, just look at her. <laughs> she is not one happy camper. Okay, we'll leave her alone. Next up, we have got a huge, huge Antinus, Pamphobetius Antinus. Let's see, can I have this please? Oh my gosh, okay. He, he is super huge. This is the one that we've been pairing with my female. He is freaking huge, man. Who is not a happy camper? It's this guy. But you can have nice water regardless. Hmm, have you guys ever fed your tarantulas, given them like Avion? Let me know in the comments below. All right, so this is a Lassiodora, I think Striatopes as well. So let's see. Okay, doesn't want to. Very nice. Does not react in any way. This is my big Pamphobetius antinus, the steely blue leg. Okay, she is at her water dish. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's see how she reacts to this. Can I get this please? Oh, <laughs> all right, goodbye girl, stay in there. <laughs> I really hope she's pregnant. This is my Formictopus, I, I, I don't even know, I bought it as something else, and the guy, like, yeah, he labeled it as something else. Oh my gosh, okay, okay, chill. Stay there. <laughs> don't come after me. Look at this species spinnerets, they're so big and like, they're so sharp and long wow you see what i mean you guys why i never really do uh, these watering videos anymore because the tarantulas they're pretty much comfortable in these enclosures like yeah you see they're going through their burrows and all so really you're not gonna get a lot of reactions but if you guys still insist you guys want watering videos i mean sure i can still do them for you but don't expect a lot of reactions from the tarantulas as previous. All right, so since no more tarantulas are actually out and about, this will be the last one that we're going to be doing today. So this is my very, very unhappy OBT, okay? <laughs> but the thing is, we are probably not going to get a lot of reactions as well because she is over here and because the water dish is over on this side so she's not gonna feel anything oh 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 she felt something but yeah that is basically you want some avian here you want it 
Yep, there you go. That's your nice reaction, you guys. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Sorry about that, girl. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Chill the freak out, man. Chill, chill. Okay. So, <laughs> guys, that'll be it for today's watering video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you thumbs this video up. I really hope it's still enjoyable. And, yeah, she is not a happy camper today. But yeah, anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, stay safe, and have a good one. Peace. And so far, we have used a little bit over half of this avion so yeah i think it was really worth it i think you know i think for future watering videos every time we do a watering video we will get a different water a different kind of water to mix things up a little yeah you think you think that'll be a good idea yeah i think so so yeah stay tuned for future watering videos